you heard pratap khachare was you seen the inner workings of the congress is it according to you at all possible that uh, pratap khachare was led this entire rebellion against the decision of the gandhi family without the active participation of ashok gehlot as he'd like us to believe rahul ji i don't think it's for me to comment who has led the rebellion or not but what i can see ironic in the two three statements which i've heard now first coming from uh, sar desai ji he mentioned that nothing happens in rajasthan which gehlot sahab is not aware of don't you think rahul ji this is something that uh, congress high command should have learned from him that they could not gauge the emotion sentiments and the aspirations and anxieties of uh, gehlot sahab when he was dragged to contest this uh, presidentship of congress party second ironic thing is that this whole uh, thing is being carried out the selection for presidentship of uh, congress party is to prove that congress party works on democratic norms and here on the other hand they are planning to issue a notice to gehlot sahab for this very reason that the mlas have raised their voice and they want to express their opinion what is so undemocratic about it that ajay makan ji is so upset about it and it is this very ajay makan ji i may not know the working of the high command in delhi but mr khadge sahab mr uh, ajay makan i have been at the receiving end what is unfolding here in jaipur khadge sahab was head of the committee which decided or recommended to congress leadership that captain amarinder singh ji should be removed from the chief minister Khadge Sahab was the one who recommended Sunil Jakhad should be removed as a PCC president and Navjot Singh Sidhu ji should be made the PCC president. It's to Mr. Makan who came here to execute the execute these recommendations. And what happened? There was a one liner passed which they are so worked about that one liner has to be passed. Punjab CLP which had 80 members passed a resolution saying that uh, Congress High Command should uh, take a call on this. But then they decided to have a vote. and this is the irony of it that out of 80 42 voted for sunil the nearest contender to me was had got 16 and the one who was made the chief minister got two votes mr chenni so that's why i wrote yesterday that let's see who's going to be chenni because i thought thought who do you think will be rajasthan ka chenni you've given this theory that out of this fight between gehlot and sachin will emerge a chenni yes. kon hoga rajasthan ka chenni Yes, yes. It's not just Mr. Gehlot and Mr. Uh, Sachin Pilot or Mr. C. P. Joshi, Govind Singh Ji, Dudasra, or Mr. Chaudhary Hemaram Ji. It will be somebody who was instrumental in the prime player in undoing of Congress uh, in Punjab. He also, along with uh, Mr. Sachin, uh, Mr. Makan, Ajay Makan, and Mr. Harish Rawat from Uttarakhand. There was another Harish here. who was called all sort of names not by sunil jakhad by a member of parliament sitting member of parliament who has not been given a notice who called a gentleman he says rajasthan ka lutera yahan punjab mein aaya so i think this person is a blue eyed boy and this whole script has been written by him everything is being followed to the t and eventually he will emerge as the black sheep i call is not the dark horse all these far five dark horses are waiting and bidding for their time maybe they have their achkans all pressed and ready to be sworn in but uh, congress has not yet stopped digging its grave deeper they are still digging i thought they have reached the bottom but they are still digging and on top of that another ironic thing before i beg your leave uh, rahul ji that yesterday only mr uh, lalu prasad ji and mr Nath, uh, nitish kumar ji came and called on upon congress president and asked her to lead the mahagath bandhan here you cannot keep mr uh, gehlot together with you who has been like a shadow with the high command all along and how do you treat mr gehlot i i would say this would be like a, as shakespeare said the most most unkindness that's the only time i think he used two superlatives most unkindest cut of all is that they will issue a notice to him isn't this a joke uh, you can't even keep the lot together and you expect to head a coalition with have which will have sharad pawar ji you will have uh, yachuri ji you will have nitish kumar ji you will have dalu prasad and maybe some others also maybe some other people will also join in so how do you keep them together i think here is a living example 
that somebody has not only kept the Congress government intact, having such a slight margin like they had 101 MLAs, and he has kept this even in spite of the threat of from within and outside all kind of challenges. Ten independents are supporting Mr. Galot. He should have been rewarded, but uh, what this is their own, I think, at least only positive thing that I see from where I sit today. Because I was also issued a notice, and I'm very small, for I am nobody compared to Galot sir. I, I, I would not compromise on my dignity and my self-respect, and I don't think Galot sir would even consider this, that he has issued a notice. And let me tell you, Rauji, I go on record with you, I am not here, what you call this, Shade Freud, and not a, I'm not taking, seeking pleasure out somebody else's misery. I have stayed with the party for 50 years, and I feel, though I have parted ways, but I still have a feeling, and I think, if a notice is given, you can take this notice to Galot Saab as epitaph of Congress party. Any Gareth Mandas would say, somebody who has some self-respect, whether he is a block Pradhan, whether he is some leader sitting in uh, Maharashtra or anywhere in the country, they will resign because this will be a clear signal to all the so-called leaders or the uh, people who have stood by the loyal with the Congress, they would, it would be Tumara number bhi lagega. And I think well, the first casualty in this case would be Bagel Saab. I think there is also a rebellion brewing. And let's see, first let this whole issue unfold and let, we will wait for the outcome. You know, you're in a Shakespearean mood today, but over the last 10 minutes you've done some aag me ghi ka kaam. Uh, you warned against the consequences which may follow. No, no, I, I, Rauji, no, no, don't blame me. I want it. I, I am not to be blamed. It is Congress party's own doing. Only positive thing that I saw in this whole thing was okay. that at least nobody has yet blamed BJP for it, that BJP's lotus operation is going on. It is their own doing and they are still digging deep, deeper and deeper. I don't know when they so, will stop. So